So um, a very long title here. Um, I will endeavor to, to stick to about 45 minutes uh, for everyone and, and uh, very happy to take questions at the end. Um, so um, uh, digital phenotyping is, is, is not the focus of the talk, but it's the context in which it is, um, uh, in which most of the talk is, is in. We know that um, products and services based on digital well-being technologies typically include our mobile device apps and browser-based apps. And can there also be telephone-based systems, text-based chatbots, voice-activated chatbots through Alexa, for example. And these digital products and services are simultaneously available across multiple channels um, to make it easy for, for users to, to access them. We've got this democratization of, of uh, access to highly well-designed uh, uh, apps. And so these well-being technologies offer quite useful methods for real-time data capture of the interactions of users with the products or services or uh, um, aspects of those. And we can design what data are recorded in, in these systems and, and where it can be stored and um, and, and crucially, how we can analyze it, and this is the core part of the talk today, to reveal um, individual or, or collective uh, aggregated usage patterns. So digital phenotyping <clears throat> is a term that is given to the capturing and use of user log data, usually from health and, and usually from mental health and well-being uh, technologies used in apps. Um, it was originally proposed to um, correlate a person mental state by using their the metadata and sensor data on their smartphones so the, the likes of accelerometer data and so on and getting some idea of, of um, correlating that with a um, state of depression by their lack of activity or whatever so it can be physiological data it could be pulse and, and so on cortisone from saliva it can be anything really um, it can be metadata as well it can be data about the data um, so Often, as we would expect from you know a very personal device like your phone, uh, the rich data related to geolocation, social media, and interaction is gathered, and um, we can also interleave with that um, uh, outcome scales, quantitative uh, uh, validated, scientifically validated scales, um, and another type of digital phenotype data is ecological momentary assessment data. I'm going to be talking about that as well. And this was originally the idea of um, um, pen and paper recording of how you felt uh, uh, in, 